All right, guys, I am here with my weekly what sold video. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I sold this week on Depop, Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. This video should help you to see what's currently selling on these platforms. I am a full-time reseller and yeah, this is the best job ever. So um, we're gonna get right into it. Let me know down below how your sales have been this week. Mine were, I felt like not as good as last week, but still pretty good. So let me just minimize myself here. I need to figure out how to do the little like circle thing. If anybody like does YouTube and you can like put yourself in a little circle, like instead of this, I'm just using QuickTime player, but I mean, I guess this works. Okay, um, Depop is first. I sold these pair of Merrill shoes for $28. Um, Merrill does tend to sell pretty well for me in any of the outdoor brands on Depop. These were in a size seven and a half. They were the um, blue and gray Ridge Pass style shoes. I found quite a few outdoor hiking shoes in a size seven and a half recently at a thrift store. So I picked them all up and those ones sold really quickly on Depop. Next up, I sold this Halloween sweater for $30. I kind of had a feeling this would sell on Depop. It was so cute. Um, the brand was Pleasant Shade, so not really a brand that you need to keep an eye out for, but these like novelty uh, vintage Halloween sweaters are selling really good right now. So if you have any, get them listed. And that is it on Depop. Um, Mercari is pretty slow as well. I had a pair of Dance Goes selling Mercari. These ones were in a size nine. They sold for $28. Um, brown leather wedge, just like a classic slip on um, Dance Go style. So I was happy with that. Um, the Halara dress still hasn't got rated or the Vans. And I think I talked about those. Well, no, I didn't talk about the Vans. Um, the Vans were a pair of new with tags. I got these at Plato's Closet for I think $15 or $18. They sold for $48.75. They were a Skull Rose um, print, slip-on sneakers. And yeah, brand new. So that was a good sale. Um, and then I sold these Judy Blue jeans, I think. I'm trying to figure out when they sold. Size 18, blue, high rise, skinny stretch jeans for $26.25. I was trying to see here on Mercari where it shows where I sold it, but I see where it says updated. So that's probably the sell date. Um, this I'm unsure of, this Lululemon jacket. I think I actually sold it somewhere else and forgot to delete it off of Mercari. Um, but if not, sold for $39.37. I haven't yet looked at my inventory because it just sold before I was going to make this video. So ugh, we'll see about that. Okay, Poshmark. So on Poshmark this morning, I did decide to lower my prices. Um, I dropped my items by 10% in order to participate in closet clear out because when you drop your items by, actually you can do it any percent, but I do 10. Um, it will give the watchers or the likers a notification that if they buy it today with closet clear out, they can get discounted shipping. So it did produce already a few sales this morning, four or five. So that's good. That is a good um, tactic to do. I know they do them on Fridays and Sundays. I don't know if they do them any weekdays. So Anyway, I did do that this morning because the last couple of days, my Poshmark has been really slow. And I did this with Prime Lister. That is the app that I use for all of my Poshmark automation. You can find that information um, in the description. It is so much easier than doing it yourself. First up, I sold on Poshmark this Vineyard Vines in a size 16. This was new with tags, um, a tie front, just like long sleeve shirt. So $35 on that, pretty good. Next, I sold this uh, Quince sweater. This was in a size large. It was a black cashmere. Whoops. Look what I just did. I'm going to message this buyer because I have it um, titled large, but it's a size medium. Right here I have medium in the description. And then what about the item specifics? I can't see where I had that. So I'm going to make sure that this is, oh, I had it in a size medium for that too. So it was only the, sorry, I will turn off my thing. Um, it was only the title that I messed up. So hopefully that doesn't mess it up. Anyway, $31 on this Quince cashmere sweater. I just picked this up recently. So that was a nice quick sale. Next up was this new with tags, et cetera, sweater. I don't know where I got this from because I would not pick this up to resell. I don't know. Um, gray. I don't think I would. Um, linen blend long line cardigan. I mean, it retail for $225. So isn't that crazy? It literally, I think I've had this for like a year or longer and it sold for $9. So um, that's pathetic. That is not a good brand to pick up. I sold this naked cashmere sweater in a size extra small 
for $32. When I've had some of these before, they were selling for higher, but this one has been around since last fall winter season. So I was ready to move on with that. It did kind of have a little bit of pilling that I couldn't get off. So that also could have been a factor of why it sold for lower. Um, next up were a pair of REI pants. REI is an outdoor hiking type brand. These ones were in a size six tall, um, trail minimalist cargo convertible. Um, yeah, so great sale on that. I've been liking selling REI lately. Um, next up was a Sundance top. This was in a size large, multicolor, sheer, oversized top. I like selling Sundance. Um, I think this might be the newer label, so correct me if I'm wrong with this teal um, lettering, but that was cute, and the larger size, I do think, helped it sell a little quicker. Um, I saw these Abercrombie and Fitch. It says jeans, but I guess they're actually pants. They're like faux leather pants. These were the 90s um, relaxed uh, wow, if I can talk, black curve love. They were a faux leather pants and they were new with tags. They sold for $35. That's right around what comps were despite the retail price. They were like $35, $45. So I listed mine at $45 and I accepted an offer of $35. Next up was a Bryn Walker shirt that only sold for $12. This is a size small. I feel like Bryn Walker does better in larger sizes. So um, might be something to think about, or maybe this one just kind of fell through the cracks. Um, if you sell Bryn Walker and you have experience in smaller sizes, let me know how it does for you in the smaller sizes. Um, next up was a Torrid shirt. I've been talking about how I really have slowed down on Torrid and I am still sticking with that. This was new with tags, size 4X, green, ribbed with the cutout, um, and it only sold for $12 and it took probably six to nine months. So I am not interested in sitting on something for six to nine months for only to sell for $12. Um, next up are a pair of American Eagle jeans in a size 10. These were a super high rise straight leg jeans. I think I bought these to wear. Then I lost weight before I could wear them. Super high rise baggy straight. No, I didn't. These were not mine because mine would have been long. So I must've found these at a thrift store. Okay. Anyway, they sold for $30. So that is great. Um, after that, I sold a pair of 511 tactical pants. I don't usually sell this brand. These were new with tags and they still only sold for $25. So I don't know how this brand does just because I don't have much experience. Um, the Cirrus pant, they did take a while. So I don't know if that would be something that I would pick up again just for how long it took and not to sell it for that much. Um, next up is a pair of Jay McLaughlin pants. Um, these were a pair of Paisley orange like summer preppy pant, um, colorful, $21 in those. That's just okay. Um, next up was a Bowden top. This sold in hours. This was a size six silk printed, uh, lightweight shirt. Um, I did use my, some of my office and career keywords on that and it sold really fast. I think because it was silk, definitely made it more desirable. Next up was a men's smart wool sweater. This came out of a bin of Ryan's. It was called the Sparwood Crew Neck. Um, smart wool is a good hiking outdoor brand that you can look for. That's what the tag looks like. And then they do have a little like logo of a little guy, but it looks like I don't have it here in this picture. So $26 in that, that's pretty decent. Um, I sold these LuLaRoe jeans for $20. These were in a size 32. High rise, skinny, distressed, stretch denim jeans. 20 bucks is fine with me. Um, next up with a pair of Johnny O pants. I showed these recently in a haul. I did find out they are boys. So the boys pants aren't as valuable or desirable maybe as men. Um, and so I sold them really quickly for $26. So I was happy with that. I think I paid like six or $7. So that was a pretty good fast sale, especially since it was fast. Next up was a Nike hooded sweatshirt. This was in a size medium and it sold for $16. I sold a similar one to this in a different color for $24. So this one just, I don't know, slipped through the cracks. I think I might've actually got it for Ryan. Look at this kid, he's feeling so cool. But is he really cool? I don't know, that's some crazy hair. Okay, I'm not like bashing kids on the internet. I was just being funny, okay? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Anyway, let's keep going. Next up was a coach purse. This is from a viewer. I am spacing out her name. Maybe Jennifer. Um, she bought this from me and I was so happy 
because first she messaged me and we were gonna do a deal off platform, but then I had got it listed before I saw her message and she just bought a full price for $45. So I'm really happy she got that. It was so pretty. I feel like it's very classic and perfect for fall. So thank you so much for your purchase. Next up was a rag and bone shirt that sold for only $9. This was a organic Pima cotton shirt, but it did have a little hole or a snag in it. And then it had a little stain. So that was a complete fail on my part at the thrift store picking that up. I did still double my money though, so that's good. Next up, I sold these Varley shorts. These were in a size extra small, high rise. Varley's like an athleisure type brand. Um, I haven't ever sold the shorts before. They did take about a month or a month and a half to sell. Not bad for $25 for a pair of shorts. So I would probably pick those up again. I sold this Anthropology Pilcro in the letter. Actually, I don't think it says and the letterpress anymore. It just says Pilcro. This was a size medium red, um, like swing Henley top. So $17, that wasn't that special of a piece. I would have liked it to be in a larger size. Uh, next up, I sold these Paige jeans and these actually sold really fast. So Paige is not a brand normally that I would pick up, but these were a really good style. They were a high rise um, straight leg. They were called the Cindy straight leg. I've never seen this before. Um, they sold in a day for $28. So don't always like, um, what am I trying to say? Don't like not like, I'm never going to get that brand. Like there's certain things within certain brands that can still do good. And that was proof of that. Um, next is a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. These were new with tags in a size, extra small washable strip stretch crepe pull on pants. If these were larger, they would have sold for more, but I was still happy with that sale. Next up was a cool jacket that only sold for $12. I've had this for quite a while, so I was happy to get it out of my closet. Um, size small, black, brown, outdoor, kind of like a fuzzy jacket. So eh, not the best, but oh well. Um, next up, I had to cancel that. I sold these pair of Viore pants for $40. I love selling Viore, probably even more than Lululemon. These ones were the daily wide leg pants and they were brown and they were in a size extra large. So a lot of times they're missing their pull tag, but this is what their tag looks like for their brand. It should be somewhere on the piece of clothing. So um, be looking for that. Um, next up, I sold this bundle for $75 for four pair of democracy jeans. I'm not gonna go through all of these. They were all in a size 12 and a 14. So. That was a good sale to get rid of a bunch of democracy jeans at the same time. And where did my listings go? Oh, here we go. Or my sales, I meant. Okay, I sold this St. John blazer for $48. St. John is a bolo. Don't get it confused with St. John's Bay. Um, there are different tags and there's different like variables. This is St. John collection by Marie Gray. The size was cut out, so I just did measurements. Um, $48, sometimes they can sell for a lot, but I feel like this one wasn't like super pretty, but I've sold some before for like $100 easily. Um, next up is a pair of Peruvian Connection pants in a size eight. I sold a lot of Peruvian Connection last week, not as much this week. Um, these were a pair of dark floral, um, casual skinny pants, $32 on those. So that is great. These are sales also from August 9th through the 16th today, at least in the morning. Um, next up are a pair of Hoka shoes that sold for $36. These were a pair of women's Ahari um, six. They did have some wear, but Hoka's are still pretty trendy and popular. So I was glad to be able to sell those for $36. Um, next up is a Bowden shirt that sold for $8. So this was sad. I'm pretty sure this was even new with tags. I don't know what happened. I've had this since literally last fall. So I've had some people that are like, why don't you wait? Like you could get more money. Like how much longer am I going to wait? I don't want to wait any longer. <laughs> like it is not that special to me. Like don't be attached to your items because it literally doesn't matter. Um, next up are a pair of Everlane jeans. I don't pick up Everlane hardly at all anymore. Okay. These sold in the ninth. Maybe this will be my last thing. Um, but these were a pair of brown, white striped barrel leg. Actually, maybe I did. Cause I feel like I was making fun of barrel legs saying they look weird. Anyway, $28 in those. Let's get off of Poshmark. Let's go on to eBay last. This morning, I sold these pair of Anthropology Etois pants. These were in a size large. They were a velvet um, floral pair of pull-on pants. So that is a brand I don't see that often. They have been listed for a while. You can see that they are on sale for 30% off. So I think that means I've had them for at least three to four months. 
Um, so I like to drop prices after I've had something for about three months for the most part. Next up were a pair of Teos clogs. Um, I just listed these recently. They were in a size 40 or a size women's nine. They're a pair of wool slip on like slipper clogs. So that was a nice quick sale. I sold these democracy jeans in a size 14. These were the ab technology high rise skinny jeans. Um, you guys see these all the time. If you're on my channel, I love selling democracy. Um, next up was a new with tags, Ted Baker top and it's a zero. It sold for 3150. This was Navy blue with this little accents on the bottom, um, was originally listed for $45 on sale because they've had it for a while. So glad to sell that. This is apparently a new Bolo brand. I've never heard of it, but I found it at a, lo a local consignment store, Lauren, Manugian, Manugian, how do you say that? It was a cashmere blouse. So the cashmere definitely helped it, but here's what the tag looked like. A long tag. Anytime you're in the store and you see something that, um, first of all, has good fabric in like an interesting tag made in the USA as well. That's a good sign of like quality. So that sold for $79, which I was like, wow, that's crazy. I never heard of it. So I'm always learning. Um, I sold these beyond yoga leggings for $14. These might, might have actually been a part of my challenge, my a dollar into a thousand, but I don't remember. I have it written down, so I need to go check because if they are, I need to update that. Okay, next up is the new with tags Patagonia shirt. I just showed you guys this in a haul. It already sold for $48. It retailed for 90 Patagonia organic cotton women's flannel. Of course, it's the perfect time to sell something like that. I sold these Teos sandals really fast for $25. These were in a size eight. These probably took a week to sell and they are called the escape sandals. So I've been really liking selling Teos this summer. It's been selling very quickly for me. Next up was a pair of Duluth trading pants. They sold for $30. Um, these were a pair of women's in a size 22. So that is why I got them. I probably wouldn't have got them in a smaller size, but because of the larger size that did make them more uh, desirable, I guess. Next up were these Lululemon dance studio pants. A lot of people told me not to buy these at the thrift store and I did and I sold them in a day. So yeah, I don't listen to other people very, okay, that's, <laughs> I don't listen to other people very much in a way where it's like, if I know from my experience, like I'll do polls and stuff, but like, I, I know what I'm doing pretty good. Like sometimes I still screw up, but like, I don't know. With something like this, I was just curious what other people had to say, but I'm like, I know I'm gonna buy them because I know I can sell dance studio pants and they sold it like in a literal day. So I'm glad I got them and didn't listen to the masses on Instagram. Um, next up was an Eileen Fisher dress that sold for $48 with a coupon, size large black silk color block dress. So the silk definitely helped this sell. That was a great price. I had some nice higher do dollar sales on eBay. Um, here's another one. This is the brand Skinify. I've sold this once before. It did have an over 100% sell through rate. Last time I looked them up, they're kind of like this resistance band, um, compression leggings, very interesting looking. So you won't miss them at the thrift store. These ones sold for $45 with a coupon. Um, I sold these Ugg slippers extremely fast. I just found these at the Goodwill. These were new, never worn in a size seven. And they sold for $67 with a coupon. So that was an excellent sale. Make sure if you have an eBay store, you have a coupon available because people use it all the time. Here's another one. Um, Lululemon pants, size eight on the fly, $45 with a coupon. I just listed these, these sold in literally like a day. So I was happy with that. I probably could have got a little bit more, but you know what? I like a fast flip. Next up were these pair of Gucci shoes. I already sold these once they got returned, um, sold them again for $400. They were a men's size seven. So a very small men's size. Here's a better men's sale. Actually, wait, not better. Um, here's a better size. Men's size 11. These are a pair of Noble sneakers that sold for $65. Um, black Noble can do pretty good for you, for me. I do have better luck for the women's with the high top styles, um, but these men's ones, and that was with a coupon as well. Uh, amazing sale here. Johnny was dress $175 with a coupon. This is so cute. Um, very 90s vibes to me with the plaid and the embroidered florals. Um, size small, it was the Nila Maxi tank dress. Looks like MSRP was 318. I sold it for 175 with a coupon. I was so happy with that sale. Next up was a soft surrounding shirt. This sold very quickly. It wasn't a size 1X, it was pink floral and it did have 
some silk. So definitely good fabric, good size, and cute style made a difference for that. Next up were a pair of Merrill shoes. These were in a size eight and a half. These were the red um, Capro, Capro Bolt, uh, Gore-Tex hiking shoes. Hiking shoes are still selling really good for me this week. So keep listing them if you have them. Um, next up was another amazing sale. eBay was so good this week. Um, Spanx size large, perfect pant in a flare style. Sold for $65 with a coupon. So excited when I came across all of these Spanx. Um, I see by Connie K, $48 with a coupon. Striped, very lag and look, very artsy. Big buttons. Here's what the tag looks like. This does better in size large and up. Um, I sold these Crocs sandals for $31 with a coupon. These were called the San Ross sandals. I do have good luck with this specific style of Crocs. They have this big, I've seen it in silver and gold, but like this big kind of metal, I don't even know what you want to call that, accent. Um, next were a pair of men's Polo Ralph Lauren pants that sold for $22. These were a pair of just sweatpants. Uh, nothing special, size extra large. So I was just happy to take a lower offer to move those. These sold in one day. Um, they were a pair of Merrill clogs in a size six. These were um, gray, slip on, shearling, a little bit of wear right there with like maybe some watermarks, but still sold super fast. Next up was a Peruvian Connection tank top. This sold for $20. Um, size small. Found it with all of the other Peruvian Connection that I've been finding around the Omaha area. So happy with that. Next up was a Bowden shirt. For a little bit here, I had a 24% off coupon for my like previous buyers, but then I took that off and now I've switched it to just 20%. Um, so this is nothing special. I don't know why I had it, but whatever. I sold it. I made some profit. Let's move on. Alex Evening's dress sold for $40.50. This was in a size 20 W. It was navy blue with some rhinestone details. I listed it for 60, but I did have it for a little while, so I was happy to take that offer. This dress sold extremely quickly. I found this on a new rack at a local thrift store that another reseller passed over. Size large, new with tags, Bryn Walker dress, um, $90 with a coupon. So that was an amazing sale, especially because it was so fast. Next up was a, did I talk about this? Date sold, August 11th. No, I couldn't have. I remember people telling me about like, oh, you probably could have sold this for more. Maybe I just posted on my story. Vintage Express dress sold for 35 with a coupon, 100% silk. It was definitely like a Y2K. I mean, I probably could have, but I sold it in like a day. So I'm still happy with that. Next up were a pair of new with tag Spanx that sold for $25. These were velvet, um, size extra large. So I would have liked those to sell for more, but it seems like the thicker pants do better for me from Spanx. Um, I sold this Lululemon shirt in a size six. This was just a black mesh long sleeve top. I didn't end up, did I find the style? Maybe I didn't. Um, anyway, sold it for 25 with a coupon. That's just a basic Lululemon. This sold for 20 or $35 with a coupon, Comfy USA. Kind of like a lag and look-ish brand, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was polka dot sheer, almost like a mid-length, but it was like very lightweight. Next up was a Peruvian Connection shirt that sold for $9. This had a stain that I could not get out. And so I sold it for lower, plus it was in a size extra small. So I think I made a couple dollars on that. This is a good Bolo men's brand. Um, it is the brand uh, Zero, I think that's how you say it, with an X, um, barefoot shoes. So look up the barefoot shoes. They can be pretty good. They weren't a smaller men's size of seven and a half, but they did still sell for $60 with a coupon. So that is amazing. And then I think this is the last item, this Clara Sun Wu top in a size extra large. This was a multicolor, like not front top. Um, I really like selling this brand in the larger sizes. So yay, that is my sales, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me see if I can enlarge myself here for the end. Um, let me know how your sales were down below. I'm getting ready to go coach. I feel like I was lagging a little there. I'm getting ready to go coach my boys. We have our preseason tournament this weekend. So really excited about that. I'll give you guys an update on the next video of how we did, or you can follow me on Instagram. I'll probably post it there. So I gotta get to work. I gotta get stuff done. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.